Hi friends, Carlos doesn't want to go dance. Why don't you want to dance? You're being boring. They were doing the Cupid Shuffle and the Wobble. Good morning friends, it is 9.30, which is probably the earliest I woke up like in the last week and a half, but that's okay. We're gonna go get some breakfast for once. Um, and yeah, everybody was like, I was getting up and everybody was all like ready and I was like, what? So yeah, but good morning, we're ready to go. We'll talk soon. So we made our way out of our room and up to where the Windjammer Marketplace is, which is on deck 16 on Oasis of the Seas. At this point, we more or less knew how to get out of the area where our room was located. We were in the front of the ship where there's like kind of like multiple hallways. It's kind of a maze in there. So we got lost multiple times on the first day, but we got it figured out and we made our way over to the buffet and got some breakfast. And of course, we complimented that breakfast with a mimosa. I can't really think of anything that goes better with a good breakfast than a mimosa, but we made our way out onto the pool deck to kind of just like check things out and get to know the ship a little bit more and then yeah I did just think of one thing that is better than a mimosa with breakfast and that's three mimosas so yeah there we go. Oasis of the Seas has a grape splash pad for the kids and larger slides for the adults but we decided to go back up into the solarium and check out one of the cantilever hot tubs that we had seen the previous day. Is it hot Carlos? No. I put my, my fat falls in videos. My fat falls in videos. And Carlos explicitly told me not to include his unshirted torso in this video, so naturally I left that in there. And so yeah, we all just hung out in the hot sub for about an hour or so and, you know, just chilled. The bartender brought us drinks while in the Whirlpool, which is something that I really do enjoy about Royal Caribbean. Every single ship of theirs I've been on, they have brought me drinks directly to the hot sub. But then when we got out of the hot sub, we wanted to go find a bar where we could get drinks and just chill in a lounger, which is what we did. So Carlos, tell our friends how you're doing today. Good. So good, right? Are you having a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything to say or no? No. <laughs> Not right now. He's always a man of so many words. Come on, not right now. Always a man of so many words. All right, well, we'll talk soon. We didn't stray too far from our loungers because we didn't want to lose them, but we wanted to see the ship more. So we just explored the pool deck a little bit more, which was really quite lively on a sunny sea day like this. They had music and dancing and all the usual pool deck stuff, but this pool deck is quite impressive, which makes sense for a ship this size. Smile! It's lunchtime. How's it going, Carlos? Good. How do you like El Fo Loco Fresh? It looks like you liked it. It's empty. Yeah, it was really good. Very good. What are you drinking? Red Bull and vodka. Yeah, he needed a pick me up. But yeah, I love El Loco Fresh. I was missing it last week on Enchantment. We'll talk soon. We ate the rest of our food and grabbed a drink of water, and from there we hung out on the pool deck for a little bit longer. A local fresh was definitely delicious. I got a little bit of everything, as you probably saw, and I did my absolute best to finish it, but I did end up tossing out some of the nachos and half a quesadilla, but you know, whatever, I digress. But yeah, we spent another hour or so in the sun before making our way down to our rooms to get ready for dinner. It was formal night, so we had needed to make sure we had enough time to, like, you know, get all dolled up and all that. Royal Caribbean's fancy night dress code isn't that strict but sometimes it's nice to dress up but yeah and then it was time for dinner all right y'all we're ready for dinner it's fancy night um we are well i'm ready carlos is almost ready he's putting on a vest and maybe gonna put on a bow tie he hasn't decided yet um because his neck uh is a lot bigger because he's buffer than he used to be you know we, we've been working out a lot we haven't been getting fat at all um so that's that's the issue but anyway should be good um i took a peek at the menu there's some good things on there um and uh we're gonna get some pictures taken for sure we're gonna change out of this at some point because we're not gonna spend the whole night like this but anyway we look so cute look at us yeah but um anything to add carlos no 
I think it would be a good dinner. Definitely don't like to dress up all the time, but this is good. I think I look good, huh? Yeah, Carlos is perfectly content in workout clothes 24 seven. So yeah. um, this is a lot for him, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be so great. And his mom's over there getting all dressed up too. So we'll take some pictures and I'll probably insert those at some point in the evening, but um, we'll talk soon. So we came back to the room and bam, doggy. Look at it, it's cute. I've gotten this one a few times before, but it's I think this is one of the cutest ones because it's a little dog. What do you think of the dog? It's cute. I wanted a fish. Uh. <laughs> and next door, Madre also got a dog, I saw it. But yeah, we're gonna change because you know, we're fancified, right? Let me see, like fancy like Applebee's, right? Don't we look so cute? Oh, my hair is a mess. That's gonna be in one of the pictures we just took. That's all right. Um, but yeah, so I don't miss that. But we can't. Um, <laughs> we can't stay like this, obviously, right? Oh, yeah. knocking. Did we fall down? No, oh, yeah. I have oh, it. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> you know. Yeah. There's glasses. Oh. And. <laughs> no, the phone's in that other pocket too. There we go. Let's have a little mess. Okay. And some Russian vegetables. Ah. Okay. Weapon? Oh. Uh, I'm back, I'm back. Oh. Um, she needs help with her um, undressing. But yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're going to go down to the promenade, I think, and hang out there for a little bit. Um, we have a show later. I think. I keep. Oh, the ice, the ice skating show, or whatever it is, in Studio B. So yeah, it's going to be so fun. We'll take you with us, and uh, we'll talk soon. So we changed into comfier clothes and then uh, made our way down to the promenade to kind of check things out down there. There was, of course, more evening activities happening, and we looked around and explored, but we ultimately ended up back in Boleros. There wasn't room at the bar, so we sat in one of the lounge areas, which wasn't a problem because we had a bartender come up to us like pretty much right away. We didn't stay in Boleros for too long because we had so much more ship left to see. So we went back out to the promenade and went on kind of the second floor to see what was up there. They had the Photoshop and different things. And then at one point we went into the like little candy shop and looked around in there. I think Carlos's mom bought something. I'm not entirely sure. But then we went back up to the solarium because we wanted to see like what that was like kind of in the late evening. And so the sun was going down and so it was starting to get a little bit ambient up there. But then it was time for another drink, so we decided to go down and try the Bionic Bar again, and uh, we decided that that bar wasn't for us because the drinks were just too strong and lacking in flavor. I mean, at least you're getting your money's worth. And so we went into the pub to check that out for a bit as well. And they say we stand for nothing when it is the way that we ever could. And then we see everything's going wrong, but the world must leave it. We just feel like we don't have the means to rise and run and be. So we keep waiting, waiting on the weather to change. We keep on waiting.
dance. Carlos doesn't want to go dance. Why don't you want to dance? You're being boring. They were doing the Cupid Shuffle and the Wobble and now these songs. Like, you're just not into it anymore. No, and we have to get up super early. We do have to get up early, he's right. Super, super early, so. We're about to call it a night, but um, I'll uh, update you once we're back in the room. Anyway, Carlos doesn't want to dance. Make fun of him in the comments. <laughs> we'll talk soon. Hi friends, so we're back to the room. Carlos is here. He didn't dance. I tried to get him to. He said no. Well, actually he didn't say no, he said hell no. Um, but yeah, so we're, uh, we're getting ready for bed. It's just after 11, about 11.10 ish, and we gotta get up about 7.30, so. Excursion day. Um, yep, tomorrow is our one and only port day in Costa Maya, Mexico, and it's gonna be so much fun. We have this cool pyramid exploration thing booked, um, but you'll see more about that in the morning. Um, but. That's it. We're calling it a night. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all those fun things. We'll talk soon and y'all have a good night.